it and that's exactly what we're going to be doing now um again i'm speaking to bernard kelvin clive and this book inspirational kitchen warning you will be deeply inspired and that is supposed to be a warning anyway let me just also tell you that um bernard is actually the executive director of the motivational speakers network of ghana i am interested in knowing who is in your network with you as the, as the executive director I see Dave to me on your books. Is he part of the network? Yeah, he's a board member. Right. So who are part of the, which great speakers like you are part of the network? Good speakers. We have a comment. Uh, we have Selom Branty. We have Selom Alfred Bittipi, um, And we have Bobby Odison. These are young and youthful people. Emmanuel Wun to me is there. So very young. Dave to me, son, I would want to believe. No. Uh, so if it's online, right. you can check our profile link. All right, so um, Calvin or Bernard is actually a pro prolific writer, and uh, the latest of it is the Inspirational Kitchen, which I have taken so much um, interest in. Interested interest in. Sorry, what exactly is this book about? Is it all about the inspiration we're already talking about, or it goes just beyond that? I will simply put this an inspiration with a twist. What you mean of a twist? <laughs> of, of a different form, something that you to something to inspire you every now and then. That when you pick it, that it might some of them might be normal messages or normal text or something, but something that will keep you going, right. or gets you on your on your, on your feet to move. Mm. So that you have also said to us that usually um, jargons are what you would turn or transform into wise sayings mm -hmm. that won't actually get people they are set to angry. For instance. Yawa, excuse my language. What did you say you would have transformed it's it a, into? Uh, the Yawa in the acronym, the books, the acronym sections. The Yawa, that's Y A W A, simply means young and wise achiever. So if if someone said there's a Yawa boy, Yawa, no, I mean don't be too mad about that. Just tap the post out of it. See yourself as a young and wise achiever. Right. Yeah. Even though we all know what exactly and it means. It means. So the next time, so when you bounce to the word Yawa, I think to, to put a smile on your face, at least you are not that Yawa, but you are right. Yawa. So you're actually using these words to form inspirations to get people going. How well have your books been patronized? Because I have quite a number here, and you shall rise, your dreams will not die. That's another book he's written. And uh, when did this one actually come out? This was last year. Right. Yeah. What was it about as well? The first book, Your Dreams Will Not Die, is an inspiration to live your dreams. That was your first book, That's right? That was my first book. Mm -hmm. that your passion, what, what you, you're really passionate about, your God-given dreams. And I realized that in most parts of the world, and even here, people do, or people are in works, they hate, but they love the money. So it's best to go for what you're really passionate about, what you so desire, your heart desires. So this book causes you to go back to those tracks, not just pursuing any job, any career, but mm -hmm. something deep within your heart, where you find the peace, the fulfillment within. Wow. And flipping through many pages, I came across this. There are a few, there are a few people in this world whose presence you encounter and leave having a restored hope and an assurance that all is well. Their words are inspiring and encouraging, and they make you feel unstoppable. Oh my God. So do you think you have such people in your life? Let me get to hear from you this morning. This book, after reading it, what is it aimed at changing in me? To trigger in you the passion, the desire to put some inspiration and smile on your face every now and then. It's not a one-time read that you read, I've done, I'm, I'm through with it. You can do this within 30, if you're a very fast reader, or even an hour. Right. But that, that, that concept is seems very portable as a pocket-sized book. It's to carry it along every now and then. That when you're done, you can draw some inspirations on the go. So you pick something and you get reading. So something, a text a day or a phrase a day or quotations or a book to read, something to keep you going. So every right. now and then you keep going. So in going through a few of the acronyms, just listen to the few. I'm going to take so much interest in reading this book this morning. I want to believe I'll read it all morning. This one, the popular TGIF, Thank God it's Friday, many people would have said. But he says, Thank God I am favored. Today, God is first. Thank God it's Friday. Give God the first and he will take care of the rest. Okay, so T G I F. All right, did you get that? And this one is Grace. It says, God's riches at Christ's expense. 
may god grant you the grace to run the race of life and excel in all you find your hands to do this one is a it's completely um a bit of a mess for me because i mean in that case we didn't take one letter after the rather uh, it the, the the second oh. sub section is just giving you some inspiration G R A C E god's riches at christ's expense all right so everything comes in the first That's line end, yes. so god's riches at christ's Christ expense. expense hug holy <laughs> ghost uninterrupted guidance Ooh, that's quite interesting and yeah why and then we have okay opportunity knocking open your door how did you get all of these to be able to actually put it down did you have your friends help you or um, i'll put it this way and you know it said that if you change the way you look at things what do you look at changes so that if there are a lot of negative things around and your mindset is to, to tap the positive out of everything that occurs, everything negative, you can see something positive. So I was looking around the normally commonly used words that might not be so good, like the, the, the acronym NO. Everybody's afraid of the word NO. Like you are bound, you you're rejected. N O. N -O. Like to hear NO, a sense of rejection, unloved, unaccepted. But let's look at NO in another, another way. NO, next option. Mm -hmm. So the next time somebody says NO, just look at the next option. There are thousands of options or ways available. So look at the, the positive aspect of life, something good in every little thing. And that will that will set your whole mindset to enjoy mm -hmm. the daily life. Right, quite interesting. It just reminds me of something I an inspirational piece I came across as well that said, No God, no peace. N O God, N O peace. peace. And then there's just another one that followed and said, No God, no peace. And that one was K N O W. Quite cracking to get to understand. But I only believe if you keep pondering over it, you get to understand what I mean. So N O God N O peace. And then N K N O W God. K N O W peace. You understand that one again? Sure. Um just before we get going, when is this book supposed to be launched? Um, Do we need a lunch as well at, at all? Because I mean it's just an easy read for people who'd want to have laughs and get inspired as well. Bringing people together. To, for to outdo it officially mm -hmm. and where you can interact uh mr day to me will be there to launch and some other great speakers will be there so there's a networking section and also where we can interact too. so it's going to be launched this sunday at christ the king hall that's 4 p.m so that's to say you actually have the blessings of um an inspirational guru i like to describe him in my day to me as well yes right okay thank you very much for coming through the show except that he didn't bring you any copies and I have my copies here. I'm not going to give them out. Thank you once again, Bernard. It's been wonderful having you. So we'll catch up with you. Is that tomorrow? Sunday. 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 Okay, so we'll catch up with him um, during the lunch, official lunch of his book, Inspirational Kitchen. Thank you very much once again for Thank passing you, through. All right, so we're just moving to another break. When we get back.